Imagine we start a clock as the pitcher releases the ball. That starts this propagation of computations that happen in the brain that try to localize where the ball is in space and where it's going. It tries to predict the ball's trajectory. The ball is moving too fast for you to be able to track it with your eyes moment to moment. Your eye is rushing ahead to the point where you expect to see the ball. You don't know exactly where it's going to be, but you're making your best guess. And you have a couple hundred milliseconds at best to pick the next position where you're going to put your eyes. So right at midway, you get one glance at the ball. That's your decision point. You better be planning your swing now if you're going to hope to hit the ball. If you're used to seeing a ball moving at a certain speed, let's say 90 miles an hour is your average experience of seeing balls, that prediction is going to put you where the ball would be if it's traveling at that assumed speed. You move your eyes to right where the position of the ball should be for 90 mile an hour fastball. But lo and behold, this pitcher has some extra gas and they pitch it at 103 miles an hour. It left the pitcher's hand, you look where it should be, it isn't there, and from your perspective it's almost as if it disappeared. Poof, it's gone.